you telling me that I got almost to the end of this video and I was muted the whole time? Hello everyone, what's this? Another episode of Four Letter Word with your host Fallen Wolf. Oh, how could it be? Four Letter Word. Yes, we are back with Four Letter Word. Hello, my lovely Fallen Pack mates, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Four Letter Word. Um, it's been a little while since we did this. We only did two videos. Um, we are going to finish, I, I believe that we are close to the end of the update we are going to be finishing up with hughes route now after i am done with hughes route i am going to keep playing this to catch up um i would like to know the next route that people like to see me do we can either keep going with asher and move on to another route in his path or i'm going to move on to playing as colby and doing one of his routes uh, I will put information down below. Feel free to comment. Let me know if you'd like me to keep going with Asher and get through all his routes. Or you'd like me to switch things up and go to Colby for right now and do one of his routes. With that being said though, how is everyone doing? I am doing fantastic. Today is a beautiful day. It is nice and sunny out over here in the lovely little garden state of New Jersey. A uh, little wind blowing, a nice cool breeze. So today is going fantastic. But the most important thing, I want to make sure you guys are doing okay. I'm excited to get back into this. It's so funny because I told myself, no, I'm not going to do a video. I'm going to focus on my writing and art. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you guys did not come for that. You guys came for some lovely four letter word. Uh, this video, fair warning, this video probably won't have as much editing. I'm going to try to rush and get it out today. So it probably won't be as much editing as my other videos, which usually take at least about a day, aka a few hours, to uh, usually finish editing. But I think that you guys will enjoy it. And I'm very excited to get back into this story. I think it's fantastic. Please look at the info below if you're interested in downloading it for yourself. The creator is really looking for people to comment and rate this. Um, you know, be honest. If you really don't have a good rating that's above a 4, I would recommend not rating because the rating system for it, itch, uh, dot, dot io is really skewed. So if like there's anything like a 3 or a 2, it's going to really mess up the rating. More so than a 4 or 5 uh, rating. Um, but yeah, he's a real friend. The person I've talked to, he's a real friendly guy. He's real nice. He, um, I think he's really doing fantastic with describing the interest, intricacies and complexities that relationships can have to them and the feelings that people can have after they've broken up because i've met some people that you know i'm going on and on i've met some people that can have uh relationships and get with their ex and be friends not everybody can do that and i feel like that's a very hard thing to do so if anybody can do that i give you a lot of credit that can be very hard but anyway with that being said we're back to four letter word and let's get started and let's finish up this route I had a bad habit of never really getting enough sleep during the week, which usually led to me making up for it on the weekend. Today was no different. I slept in long enough that Colby was already gone before I'd woken up. I probably would have been asleep even longer if it weren't for the racket outside. I'm going to lower the music just a little bit. Ooh. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mm, my ding ding dong. Oh, is that a... I'm going to lower the music just a little bit. The music's fantastic, by the way, but I'm going to lower it just a little bit. Oh, is that a meal? A, rack a racket named a meal. Jeez, would you keep it down? Good people are trying to sleep over here. Well, okay, maybe just me. And for a lot longer than I really should. Okay, you know what? Just forget I said anything. Well, so much for thinking he might actually become a better singer after last night. Could he even hear me? His voice was drowning mine out. How could Ely e e e stand to listen to that ca cas cachophony? Couldn't he hear a meal belting his lungs out just above his head? Um, I th isn't he deaf? Oh, right, he couldn't. I was like, I was like, dude, did you actually forgot that fast? I'm like, uh, I'm pretty sure he's deaf. He can't hear anything. Well, that actually was pretty convenient for the two of them. It looks like Emil finally found a partner that could stand to listen to what I will charitably refer to as his singing. 
Oh, good morning, Ash. Or should I say, good afternoon? Yeah, yeah. Emil, what the hell is going on here? We're fishing. What does it look like? What is it? What does it look like? It looks like you're trying to be three cats in a trench coat, except you're missing a cat in a trench coat. Well, it'd have made sense if you weren't dead asleep until the middle of the day. Oh, no additional sprite work not yet implemented. All right, guys, I hate to do this. Cancel Co. Co is the creator. Cancel him. Cancel him right now. Cancel. You see that button? You fingers go into the button. You made me do this, Co. <laughs> you made me do it. I'm going to push the button. I watched as Emil drew his rod up in the one o'clock position before flinging it forward in a pretty textbook roll cast. Around this time of year, bass wouldn't be hunting for insects or frogs, and judging by the brief flash of color I caught sight of, he was using a bait fish fly. As soon as it hit the water, he was immediately retrieving the line in short, fast strips to imitate bait fish pattern. It seemed like he was doing everything right. I guess those weren't empty boats when he was talking about what a big fisherman he was. Still, it didn't look like he had a lot to show for it. See the problem? I think we hit the lake a little too late in the season. The water temperatures probably dropped to the point where they're not super active and feeding all that often. They're definitely not in the shallows, at least. I went about as far as with my waters as I could get while standing with no luck. The lake gets deep pretty fast. Luckily, Eli, here, isn't as vertically challenged as the rest of us. Sitting on his shoulders, we could just about reach far enough that I'd be able to catch some, some fish. It's just too bad that my waters aren't really... Eli-sized. I was hoping to reel in a big haul to make up for yesterday, but at least we'll have enough to eat. Troy was pretty adamant that we're only going to eat what we catch for the rest of the weekend, so at least I can do my share this way. The stuff he brought in his icebox is only going to keep for a day. Speaking of Troy... Speaking of Troy, where is he? And where's everyone else for that matter? Troy's somewhere back on shore. He said he was going to start cooking what we caught so far. Might be that he went to get the firewood. As for the rest, Vaughn took one step into the lake and swore it off. It was way too cold for him. You know, the whole cold-blooded thing. I'm not entirely sure where he went, but the others went with him to keep him company. Maybe they went hiking or something. They'll probably be back before long. Oh yeah, speaking of cold water, are you going to be okay like that, Eli? Emil had to get Eli's attention on my behalf, directing him towards where I stood on the shore. Oh, how's it going, Asher? Did you need something? I was just... <laughs> I was about to do a meal's place. I was just wondering if you were going to be okay standing in the water like that. Isn't it cold? Uh, it's a little chilly, but I'll live. I don't have the stick pelt for nothing, you know. He did have a point. His fur was denser than any of ours. It still didn't look comfortable, though. If you say so. Just as I was turning to leave, I heard a meal call after me. Emil called for me. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to go look for Troy. Oh, you're not going to fish with me? I thought we were going to have a little competition, considering all that smack talk earlier. Do you see any other seven-foot-tall tigers standing around for me to ride? Hmm, good point. And I like mine. You can't have them. It doesn't look like there's enough fish biting to have a good match anyway. All right, a rain check it is then. Seemingly satisfied with that, Emil returned to casting his line in the hopes of landing something more substantial. Troy, as it turned out, wasn't too hard to find. I saw him darting back and forth between his campsite and where he'd practiced, partially set up some kind of cooking station. Troy, Troy, what is all this? This? He gestured towards a vertical set of tracks that might have been mistaken for miniature storage shelving, if not for the wood fires burning in the top and bottom shelf. Infernilia. Infernalia, little hell. Aw, oh, CG not yet implemented! Co, Co, you're killing me! This could be so good! You're killing me! Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Troy sat down at a long wooden basin filled with salt, alternating between pouring water into the basin and kneading the wet salt until the cardinals began to clump and glue together. Do you remember when I took that sabbatical to travel the world to broaden my horizons and expand my food vocabulary? One of my stops was in Argentina. They have a very unique relationship with fire there. 
I learned about their outdoor cooking techniques inspired by their Gucho heritage. Infernilio is one of them. I'm making a salt crust for the base that Emil caught earlier. The fire from above and below the fish is going to make things get very hot, very fast. It'll harden the crust, trapping the moisture inside and effectively steaming it. This way, we won't lose any of the juices that would otherwise evaporate if we grilled it. Hey, hey, Troy. Don't you want to let someone else cook for a change? Uh huh? What do you mean? I mean that we came all out here to relax and have a good time, but Troy's working. I think you're more than earned a break by now. It's not work to me. Cooking is... therapeutic to me. This is how I relax. You must need a lot of relaxation, then. Like, a constant stream of it. Well, you're right. That's not all there is to it. I guess part of the reason I'm so fascinated by cooking is the food traditions. Every culture's got at least one, handed down from generation to generation. My de my parents have always been distant ever since I can remember. I don't really feel like I inherited anything from them. Nothing good, anyway. Ooh. I can, I can understand that. I have a very bad relationship with my parents, and I feel like I'm that kind of person where it's like, I can't really say... I, I'm sure there's other people like out there that are like that, but like my parents, I can't honestly say there's anything from them I will take, like you said, that's good at least. There's nothing I can really take from them that I can say I want to teach. If I do decide to have kids, I mean, I don't want kids. It's nothing wrong with kids. I don't want kids, and there's multitude of reasons for that. But like, let's say if I did something happen and I did end up having kids, there's nothing for my parents I can say that I would want to teach my kids. I would be the opposite of what I was taught and the opposite of how I was treated. So, I, I can understand that, and I'm sure that, I, and like I said, I'm sure there's parents out there that are great. Just, not mine. <laughs> uh, not mine, really. Not really. I don't, I guess, experiencing the history of food is sort of my way of trying to feel that familial connection, that sense of heritage. You know, I always felt like you were never, you never really found your family until you started working in that restaurant. I thought it was just because of the people you worked with. Well... There is that, too. I'm not going to say they don't have a part to play in it. Yeah, I just never even thought to think about the food itself mattering that much to you. I felt like I understood Troy a lot better now. He wasn't just some workaholic throwing himself into his work out of some insatiable desire to keep himself busy. There was a hunger, yeah, and it might be for something he'd never truly reach. But if those connections could help fill that emptiness inside of him, I wasn't going to take that away from him. So pretty much, it's pretty much with Troy, I, I like that we're learning more about Troy, so pretty much what we're learning about Troy is that, what we're learning about with Troy is that, it, it work is not, oh, sorry, is that work is not necessarily, he's not necessarily a workaholic, it's more that the act of cooking itself is so therapeutic to him, and it helps him feel something, it helps him feel a connection, and that's why he's so, he's so intent on making sure he's always cooking. It is, I think it is a mix of being both therapeutic for him, but it's also a mix of he just loves cooking that much, and it's something that he feels a connection to. It's something, it's almost like, it's like his, it's almost like his thing in the sense of he's giving back to the world. Like, it's his thing that he's giving back to the world. It's something he can do special that he can give back to the world. And it's kind of, that's kind of, you know, a good thing. But I also worry that Troy's going to end up overworking himself. What happens at... It's, it's complicated, and it, it's like, it, that's a good thing to have, but people always have to remember, anything you love doing, you have to make sure you don't overwork yourself doing it, because no matter how much you love something, eventually, you're gonna get to, you're gonna get to that glass ceiling, where you're just gonna break through it, it glass ceiling is a bad word, it, anthology, uh, ceiling in general, we're gonna get to that point, and it's gonna, you're gonna have done so much with it, you're just gonna be like, I need a break, and then you get burnt, burnt out is what I'm looking for, you're gonna get burned out with it, so it's like, you you should never, while there's always going to be something that people love to do the most, you should always have other stuff you want to work with just so you don't burn yourself out. Because if he burns himself out, he's going to burn himself out the way he's going. Oh, and there's something in my eye. Alright, I'm back everyone. Hey, this might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the first time you and Dad took me out fishing at the lake? I'm going to say, of course. I'm going to save first. There's so many save files we have already saved. Alright, so we're saving, and do I want to go to... I don't know, it's been a long time. 
Or... Uh, Alright, let's see. I don't know. Oh, this branch is not yet... What are you doing? You're killing me! Ah, uh, Ko, you're killing me! I can't even do that! Alright, so we have to say, of course. You too, huh? Yeah, I think it's a memory that'll stick with me forever. Probably for a different reason than you. That being... It was just before my dad left. Back then, I felt like I knew what a family felt like. Even if I was a sham, I didn't see the cracks under the surface, so I was happy. I don't think I'll ever forget it because I've been chasing that feeling for 20 years. Oh. Troy slumped forward into his seat, as though putting it to words made him feel, really feel a sense of defeat he'd been holding at bay just through sheer denial. I think I need to be alone for a little bit, Dev. That's okay. Are you sure? Are you going to be alright? I'm always alright, Ash. That was the problem. It's not enough to just keep your head above water if you never get a chance to flourish. But I could tell Troy was having a moment of vulnerability that he didn't want me to witness. Out of respect, I let him be. Is that it? Oh, we've reached! That was so short! If you've reached the end of this build. Stay tuned for further updates. Thanks for playing. If you have a time to spare and wouldn't mind sharing your thoughts, please take a moment to fill out a survey. Your assistance would be greatly appreciated. Oh, we reached the end. Okay, this is a very short video. This is probably like my shortest video. Um, this will be a really easy video to edit, I guess. So, um, thank you for everybody that stopped by. Um, well, no, no, no. Let's talk about this. <laughs> So Troy does have a lot of baggage. We don't know much about Troy. Like I said, I do know that there is a... I do know that there was a... Before this was made into a visual novel, uh, it was originally the creator made a, uh, a comic. <clears throat> Sorry. The creator made a comic, and I think they got to issue two, quote, 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 unquote, chapter two. But chapter two was never fully finished, and then they made this. From what I read, they started explaining about Troy's... Uh, backstory, but they never, he never finished it, um, this is interesting, though, it's interesting to find out more about these characters, and I think this, I think, I like that this, all right, let's give my, let's give my positives so far, what I've played, one of my positives with this VN so far is that it does a good job of not doing exposition with the characters, it makes it really feel like, it ma this VN makes it really feel like that these characters really have been friends for a long time or have known each other for a long time and interacting and with little like with little nuggets of info dumped in here and there and i like that i like that it doesn't feel like an info dump it feels like how real friends and real you know real close people would talk to each other now one of my negatives i do have to say is that this game has a very fast pace this is my opinion I do think the game rushes with the pace a li very quickly. That's not saying it's necessarily well, in a bad way. There's nothing wrong with having a fast pace, but like it's like the last like the first part I played, the stuff of Hugh went by so fast, and I was like, wait, wait, wait what's going on? And again, you want a pace that's quick enough where it doesn't feel like you're dragging, but it can be done. Min Minotaur Hotel is a good example of, yeah, it's it's a slow pace, but it's so well written and so well done, you get anticipation instead of, you get anticipation instead of like, oh, like, when is this gonna, like, you know, when is this gonna move on to something? So, it's possible to have a slow pace, it just had to be very well written. The creator themselves seem like they have a good basic knowledge of writing. I'm not saying it's great. The actual word-wise, the writing is good. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's good, or it's somewhat average. But, the with that being said, the actual the actual themes and stuff being explained are very well written. I think this artist, I think art, the artist, the creator, period. I think this creator does have a good sense of what they want to do and a good idea of what they want to explain. And I think I give them high kudos for that. I think that's fantastic. I think that's very well done. So, really, my biggest issue is the pacing and perhaps the art. But again, I've seen worse art. I understand that the creator, as far as I know, is not a professional writer or freelance or whatever you want to call it, or artist. But it, it gets the job done. I do think the art is a unique style. 
and I think with a little bit of refinement that the actual creator could make a very amazing artistic pieces. I really do enjoy that paint style. Um, an example would be an example of very well written paint looking style would be something like Chemo like uh, like Chemo Coliseum. Uh, Chemo Coliseum with the, CG, uh, with the uh, CGI scenes, the art is fantastic, and it looks great. So I do hope that as we see this go on and on, the creator continues to only improve. And I really do give them high credit. I really do think that you should... I really do think that you should give this VN a try. I think it's an interesting idea on the dynamic of relationships past and present. And I like that. And I think it does a very well job of having the people feel like they actually have been friends for a while without going into exposition and info dumps. So, with that being said, Ko, great job. Keep up the good work. I want to see more of this. This is easily one of my top five VNs right now. Top five. Top three, I have. But this is still top five. I easily think you of top five. I want to see what happens with this. Honestly, this is one of those VNs I wish I could work on. As far as I know, the creator has said that due to personal reasons, they want to do this everything themselves. So that's even more so. It's very rare to see a VN done completely by one person, but this is fantastic. And this is stuff that I like to see and stuff I like to look at because it helps me figure I can work with stuff myself. But sorry about the short length of this video, everyone. Um, It was really good, though. This was a good part. Um, So like I said, next part. Oh, sorry. Next part, um, I want you guys to vote. Next part, I want you guys to vote. Uh, we either could keep going with Asher or we could do another one of his routes. Uh, I will skip through most of the dialogue of stuff and new. Uh, we can either do that. I don't know what other routes he has to do currently. I do know there are multiple romance options for both main characters. Or I could do, like I said, or I could do Colby. Um, we could do Colby. And we could do one of his routes. So the choice is yours. Uh, please feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of this VN, first of all. Uh, like I said, I'm very interested to see what people if people like this or not. I'm going to be playing it regardless. But I want to see your comments. I want to see what people feel about this and if they like it or not. And the best part of all, for me, don't forget to please, please, please like, comment, or subscribe. This channel is growing at an alarming rate, and I couldn't be happier. I mean, look at this. We're at 314 as of today, and I am so touched by all of you. Each and every one of you has a special place in my heart, and that's a that's not a, you know, and I swear by that. Each of you has a special place in my heart. I am so touched that all of you enjoy my videos. I could almost cry. Um, It really seems like that you, that everyone here enjoys what I do, and I couldn't be happier. I like doing these videos, and I like me, and I love meeting all of you guys and girls and you know people, and it's touching. And I hope that I continue. I hope that if nothing else, this video or my videos bring some sort of enjoyment to your life. And I can't wait to keep making more content for you guys. We're the fallen. The fallen train is not stopping anytime soon. It's gonna push right past. We're gonna be here for years to come. I promise. With that being said, though, this has been Fallen Wolf. And please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe to the video and share it with your friends. And, and with that being said, I'll see everyone next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye.